Hello friends, welcome to Device Electronics. Today we will talk about a traffic light controller. So this is a part of an IoT event. IoT is Internet of Things. So here we will see a huge traffic light controlling system which works on several Arduino boards attached to a one slave board and controlled by one master board and it goes to a PC via an Ethernet cable. As you can see the functionality it is already running but I will show you how it is working today. So first we will talk about the setup. So we have four traffic light indications. This is one, two, three and four. And these are individually controlled by a dedicated Arduino slave board one, then Arduino Uno slave board two, slave board three and this is the fourth one. So all these slaves are communicating to one master board here and which is in turn giving the signal to this Arduino board. This is a different type of Arduino board. It is an Arduino mega board on which our Ethernet shield is being mounted. And we can see different type of sensors attached to it. This is an ultrasonic sensor. One, two, three. These three ultrasonic sensors are mounted on all the four traffic areas. These are meant for checking the density of traffic. So this is a real time simulation of what the traffic happens and even smarter than the current traffic signal systems present in India. It checks the density of the traffic here and then based on that it delays the signal according to the traffic density. So it dynamically changes the on time of traffic control. So here you can see all the boards are being connected. It's a huge network of wires here. So the prototype does use a lot of protocols. So this is a primary method of what we have developed to demonstrate a huge amount of coding is done for all the boards. So this master board actually communicates with the slave board 5 in order to give all the information from the four slave boards and uh, this cable is an Ethernet cable which goes to the server and from there it comes and indicates at a remote end through this HTML page which is created on this computer. As you can see the colors are changing to indicate the yellow and green yellow and green lights are being indicated on uh, and this is a real time simulation which gives an actual scenario from the traffic source. So the methodology here is that this is a memory card on the Ethernet shield which has all the information stored on it and that information is being sent through HTML page and it loads all the information here. So as you can see there is a slight delay in loading of the pages because of the basic 
uh, technology of using the memory card as the primary source of all the graphics so it's according to the each page it is being loaded so it takes a certain amount of time to load we can modify that code according to our requirement so this is how a proper and futuristic traffic control signal has been developed at our office you can see more about this traffic control system on our blog and website thank you